Here's how you can repurpose your long form content into short form content with just two tools. Head over to Opus Pro, the link for that is in the description. Go to your YouTube channel. For this example, I'm gonna use Iman Gazi. Now, once you're at your YouTube channel, pick a video that you like, for example, this one. Now copy the link for this, paste it into Opus Clip, and now it will generate the clips for you. This has been done like in a matter of seconds, it will just generate the clips. Now with Opus Clip, you have the great feature to save yourself some money by using the credit saver. In the credit saver, you can change the time frame from which it will process your clips. For example, if you have a long intro, then you can just shorten it to the part where you get to the point with your video. After that, you can change the preferred clip length. I'd like to keep mine in 30 seconds and 30 to 60 seconds because the algorithm likes shorter clips. If you have any keyboards that you want the AI to pick up, then you can type them in here. I don't have any, so now I'm just gonna generate the clips. As you can see, it is generating now. As you can see, it takes us 12 minutes, but I already put this video in Opus Clip so I can show you the results right now. So these are all the clips Opus Clip has made from a 20 minutes video. It has created like 20 videos and they all have a virality score. Let me explain what the virality score means. So Opus Clip has this AI creation tool where it automatically takes the best parts of your video, for example, the best hook, the juicy bits of your video, it will combine that into one video. And based on that, it will give you a score of how likely it's going to go viral. So this first video has a 99 score of going viral. That doesn't automatically mean that you will definitely go viral, but it has a higher chance compared to the other videos. So now we can edit this video. So this is the video Opus Clip has created for us. Hey, maybe you're not gonna make good money for 10 years, but there will get to a point if you keep working that you make enough money that it raises normal banks eyebrows, just normal banking eyebrows. And that's where premium banking is a step above. And then eventually you start getting into some of the private banks. And then it's a matter of where do you have your private banking and stuff like that. But the point is from the age of 14, I started reading finance books. I started to understand how the world of banking and finance works. So as you can see, it has cut up these different parts. It has automatically stitched them together and it has put some captions on there. If you want to change the text in your captions, you can just double tap it. You can also change the highlights. You can also change the colors if we go to brand. So within brand, you have a bunch of different options. For example, you can change it to one lines or the three lines per page. You can also change the position. You can put it on the top, in the middle or the bottom. And you can also overlay your logo if you have one. Now for the font, you can change to anything you'd like. For example, I really like the Montserrat font. Uh, it has been used over and over again. It's basically the standard Hermosi font. Um, it's a bit overused, but it looks really good and it's easily readable. So you can change the font colors as well, change the stroke, change the shadows, change the highlights. For example, if you want to keep them like yellow and green, now the highlights are yellow and green. Let me to show. a point, if you keep working, that you make enough money that it raises no. So once you're happy with your video, you click on save and compile, and now it is regenerating that video for you. Now this tool works best for videos such as podcasts, interviews, long talking educational videos on YouTube, and other longer form pieces of content. Opus Clip doesn't really work with vlogs, gaming content, or music videos. I would also avoid using screen recording videos like the one you're watching right now because it cannot separate the screen recording from the person that's talking on the video. So once you've gone through all of your clips and you've made some minor adjustments, then it's time to download all of them. So you do that by clicking on the download button and now it will download the videos for you. So now that we've completed the download, it's time to head over to the next tool, which is called Metricool. You can click on the link in the description below to follow along and I will explain how this amazing tool works. So once you've signed up to Metricool, it's time to create your brand. The brand is basically your username or the brand that you have. For example, I'm using my personal brand right here and I've connected all of my accounts. Connecting an account is really simple. You basically click on the platform that you want to connect it to then it asks you to sign in. Once you're signed in, everything is taken care of. Right now, I've connected Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. Those are pretty much the platforms that I will be using to post my shorts on. Now that all of our socials are connected, you can go to planning. In planning, you can click on create a new post. And over here, you see you have a bunch of different options. For example, you can post on Twitter. You can also post on Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, TikTok and YouTube Shorts. It really depends what type of content you're using. But for this video, we are repurposing short form content. So if you want to upload your video, you click on this icon right there. You click on add video and now you can drag in your video. Okay, so now I've added our video and now all you have to do is write the caption. But within Metricool, there's a cool feature which is called the AI Writer Tool. And I will show you that in a little bit. 
But first we have to know what our video is about. So let's watch it together. And one of my favorite things when someone asks me my opinion on something that I'm just not very well educated on, I haven't really given much thought or time or attention to it. I just love being able to say, I'll be honest, I don't really have an opinion on that. Or I just say, I can't really. So this video is about asking on your opinion. And if you want to use the AI tool, then you click on this icon and now it asks you what you want to talk about. So here's the cool thing. If you want to write a caption, but you have no idea what to write about, this is what you can do. You can head over to this icon and this is an AI text generator. What you can do now is you go back to Ops Clip where you can see the transcript of your video. You copy the whole text, paste this into the AI text generator from Metricool. Now you select the length. I'm gonna go with headline because I'm gonna keep it short. And now you can change the tone for your text. I'm gonna put this as educational. And now it's generating our text. And now it's giving you these three options to choose from. So I'm gonna go with this one. Now this is the caption that we have. Now we can publish it to all of our platforms. For YouTube, you just need to fill in a bit more details. As you can see over here, it's asking us to fill in a short title and it's also asking us to select the audience of the video. So over here, I'm gonna select, no, it's not a video made for kids because this is not aimed for children. Now you can put it on public immediately. I will put it on private right now. And then you can click on save and it will publish right away. You can also schedule it for the day that you want it to go live. For example, if you want it to go live next week, then you can click on that and then it will go live on that day. So what you do then is you click on save. So then you click on save and now it is scheduling our post. So now you can see that our post will be going live on Sunday the 19th and it will be published on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. Now we repeat this same process for all of our reels. I would suggest uploading daily. So every day you will upload a new video. And that's basically how you can repurpose all of your content with the use of these two AI tools. If you'd like this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.